Our next step is going to be create a RAID. We do have a bunch of hard drives in this thing and Windows actually does have moderately decent built-in tools to be able to do this. So if I go down here to search and I do storage and right there, manage storage spaces. We're gonna click on that. And here we have our storage spaces. This is combining drives. We're gonna go ahead and create our new storage pool. We're gonna say yes. And here are all the drives in the system, disk 043152. It does a pretty good job about not putting your actual uh, boot disk in here, which is what we installed on the SSD. But do make sure if you have other drives in here, like if you have a bunch of stuff you want to put in a RAID and you have a one one terabyte drive that just has like your Steam games on it or something, make sure not to select it because this is going to wipe the drives. So boom, let's go ahead and create our pool. And there was no errors right there, but if you do encounter an error, an error I encountered, it looks a little bit something like this. It may say can't create pool and the issue is the physical disk sector size is not supported by the storage pool. If you run into this, what you are going to have to do, I'm gonna cancel this out real quick, and then we are gonna go ahead and open up create and format disk or hard disk partitions. And then what you're gonna to have to do is go to these specific drives. So for example, disk zero here, right click on it. You're gonna make a new simple volume, go next, keep the defaults here. You can assign whatever drive letter you want. It doesn't matter, I'm gonna be reformatting it again. And here under the allocation unit size, go ahead and change it to 4096 for every single drive. And it's gonna look something like this. So I'll actually just go ahead and do this. Let's go next, finish, let that do what it needs to do. And there we go, we have the new volume. And technically now, since I did that, it's gonna be accessible. Through here, we can see our new volume. It's a single four terabyte drive actually showing up now. But what we're gonna do is go back over here, create a new storage pool, yes. And now here you can see there are two sections. There are formatted drives and unformatted drives. I'm gonna select all of them. If you have to go through and do that fix for all your drives, everything's gonna be right here. I'm gonna check it. And if you do have formatted drives, I do recommend viewing the files and making sure you have nothing of importance in there but we're gonna select the entire pool of drives and curate the pool. Now from here, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and give it a name. I'm just gonna name it something, let's say uh, vault. This is my vault. I'm gonna give it the drive letter W for Windows. Unfortunately, we only have the NTFS file system available. The file systems like BetterFS or ButterFS <laughs> are much better through Linux NAS operating systems. And then we have the resilience type here. This is basically your RAID configuration but it's not as technical and there's not as many options. You have two-way mirror, so there are gonna be two copies of everything. If you only have two drives in your system that you're doing this with, this is the way to go. We have a three-way mirror, so if your data is super important and you don't want any risk of losing anything you can have, it says two drive failures here, but me, I always go parity. This allows one disk in the array to fail, switch that out, it can rebuild itself and it's fine. Do note that if you Pick one of these, it's gonna determine how much storage you get. So for example, the three-way mirror is only gonna give us two of the drives of available storage, which is just under eight terabytes. Simple is gonna give us a whole 21, but if a drive fails, you're screwed. I, again, like to go with parity, gives us 14 terabytes, that should be good to go. So I'm gonna hit create the storage space, and it's gonna go ahead and do that. And now we can see here it is created. We're not using hardly anything. This is Vault W right here, it is okay. We could see the actual physical drives and there are some management things here too. So if you want to remove one, you can prepare it for removal, switch it out if you want to, if one's acting funny or failing on you. You could create more pools if you want multiple arrays, if you have a lot of hard drives in there. And I do recommend doing this through this application because there, you can also do this, I'll show you. Pool. If we go to manage storage spaces within the system settings, granted it is just a little bit prettier. We can see our storage pool here, all the drives but it does lack some functionality, especially when creating that the uh, legacy application or version of this has. So now we have our storage pool. If I go over here to vault, we can see there's nothing in there. 